Hello, my name is Bert Boerland and I'm your host of Bert's Greencast of the Day. And this is Bert's Greencast of the Day. And today I want to talk about Lifeline. Um, via a co-worker, um, I found out I can use Lifeline, David from uh, Bike. Thank you very much. I found it and it's out for both Android and iTunes. Here you have the iTunes link. I will bump it in the show notes. Here's the Android link. It's, I think, two euros to two dollars or something in that neighborhood. And here you find the screen. Okay, so that's this game, Lifeline. And uh, it's a hard to describe game. I will, I will go all the way up. Um, what it is, in fact, it is um, a kind of an interact, interactive real time science fiction book. I can't describe it any better. It's not anyway graphical uh, appealing. Uh, it's very, this is all the user interface with this button. Um, you can Put it to your watch if you have uh, an, um, an Apple Watch. Well, I do not have an Apple Watch, so you get notifications probably. That's all you get probably. You can change the language. Um, anyways, it's fine with me. Uh, the defaults are, are sense. That makes sense. The music is off default and the sound is off default. Thank you. Thank you for, for such a. And, and I rate this game. And that's all there is a call to action. So uh, you get an incoming connection, establish connection, and then the story starts. and can you read me now? Then you uh, then you get a, a left or right action. So who is this? And I read you. So I chose who is this, um, and it continues. And I says he's Taylor. He's on a crash starship, uh, and so he's an astronaut in space. All but one of his crew is dead, uh, and he and you help him out. But it's real time. So if you say go somewhere, and he says it will be an hour, it will be an hour. And if you say sleep, he will be gone for six hours. And there's also interactive stuff like for a, in a certain point, a semi-interactive. Um, I haven't I haven't checked what happens if you choose the other one. So here I choose I chose um, how do you not know? And I'm not choosing try using a map. For example, if I've chosen the other one, would the path be different of, or the outcome be different? I don't know. Um, some of those uh, are drastic moves. You have to uh, uh, either rescue someone or don't rescue someone. So. Uh, I think you have but it's written very well. It's a very nice game. And there there there's stuff like, okay, I have to go out and there's radiation and it's up to 150 rat. Is that can I can I be killed or not? And then you have to search, okay, okay. Am I sending it out to Google and 150? Okay, 150 is safe. I'll send you out. So um, it's not graphical appealing, but it's uh, like a book is not graphical appealing, right? Or at least textbook. Um, I'm not sure. Reading a textbook about topography, of course. Um, do buy it. It's it's a it's a fun game if you could call it a game. Um, I like it. I'll dump uh, the the links in the show notes. And uh, this is a shorter one. That's all there is today. I'll uh, be seeing you tomorrow. And if you want to have a certain uh, uh, a certain thing to, to be to be discussed in a in a um, in a, in a screencast, please. Drop a line now because I'm out of thoughts right now. So probably come up with something tomorrow, but otherwise, really love your feedback. Give it on the Twitter at Bert Boerland, on this uh, uh, YouTube channel or anywhere uh, where else on Facebook where you find this. Uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.